man. I'll tell you what, Ricari may have gotten rage too for his birthday, but June 14th is mine, and I cannot be more excited. And joining me now to explain about that excitement, Rod Ferguson, studio head, and of course, creative director at the Coalition, mm -hmm. Makes Gears. Thank you so much for being here, Rod. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. Uh, I am very happy for you to be here because you are talking my language, and that, of course, is eSports. And you've been here before, and we're we're coming at this from the perspective of, you know, we've got the second season of Gears Pro Circuit wrapping up next week, right? We've got a lot of that eSports scene already around. Right. Um, everyone wants to know what's next. And more importantly, where can they see Gears this summer? Yeah, I mean, this is what I'm here for, is to talk about E-League. E-League is amazing. You know, it's been three years now and on TBS, and we always talked about, like, Gears of War eSports. When we started, you know, back in 2014, when I brought Gears to Vancouver, it was really about, like, how can we bring eSports on this journey? Have we got to learn to crawl, then we can learn to walk, and we can try to run. And Ultimate Edition was really that crawl, and Gears 4 was walking. And now I feel like we're trying to get to run, like we're on, we're standing up, we're picking up the pace. And this idea of bringing Gears of War um, to the E-League and, and, and having this partnership with them so that people can see it on their television and really get deeper into what is the gear scene. You know, it's like you go back to our all access we used to have, yep, right? Yep. And so that was all about the players and, and the rivalries and, and their stories and uh, overcoming adversity. And, and that's what the E-League is going to bring. It's not just about, you know, the tournaments and it's not just about highlight reels. It's really about who are the players, who are the teams, you know, who are the fans and what are those stories that we want to tell? And the fact that we're going to have these six episodes that are going to tell these stories and you're going to get to go deeper into them and really understand what is the Gears eSports scene. And that's one of the things I love about Gears Esports is that they come alongside, like you mentioned, those players, you know, basically, you know, away from the keyboard, out of the, the bright lights, still a very important part, of course. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to go into the E-League portion of this. Obviously, a great organization to align with, right? Mortal Kombat's been with them. Right. CSGO, which I'm, I'm former E-League uh, reporter here, so I'm biased. But, you know, you, you, in Rocket League, we're talking about they've done an incredible job with a lot of these different franchises. How does it feel now to have... Gears as a part of that lineup. Yeah, I think it's a really big step. I mean, I think getting that out and because a lot of times esports can sometimes feel sort of niche, you know, in terms of it's a it's a subset of your audience of who you're trying to attract. But it really sets the sort of the the tone of what is the franchise. You really see with our players and the way that the you know the slamming on the chest and the hype that comes yeah. with every event. And I think the competitive spirit that's there. And and I think what's, what we're doing even sort of special, like as you said, we're ending season two with Gears Four, and so now people are wondering like what's going on with Versus for Gears Five. And so we're using E League as a way to to bring that out and show that off. So E-League is actually going to be the way you're going to see your first glimpse of Versus of Gears 5. And then in, Jan in July 13th and 14th, we're going to have a Gears 5 tournament, uh, an invitational, and we're going to bring eight teams, fan favorites from around the world, to come together and uh, show off what Versus is really like in Gears 5. Optic! Excuse me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That one's on me. Yeah, Gazentech. That's, thank you. It's allergies. <laughs> uh, but also, you, you, you know, we will be hearing from you soon about some other Gears games. I have, I, am I correct? I have no idea what you're talking Boy, about. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. I just, if only the, the, something could pop to mind, I'd, I'd be able to come up with something. Or if I could think tactically about what I could talk about, I, I just don't know what I could be thinking about. But yeah, I mean, we're doing lots. We're doing, you know, uh, there's a crazy amount of stuff going on at the coalition right now. Uh, so much so that I had to like take a seaplane down and back so that I, oh, I, didn't, I watched, I, I saw on your <laughs> Instagram. That was a uh, pretty cool. Pretty so well. I didn't lose a day in the studio. So I I mean, more than a day. And so, yeah. yeah, we have lots of stuff going on. I even got the new comic book series started with High Busters. Right. Uh, that's going to be coming out in uh, May. I hope I'm supposed to be yeah. saying that because now it's out there now. It is there. Uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, so between like three games plus a bunch of other stuff, plus comics, plus a bunch of other stuff, there's just uh, a lot going on. But just the fact that we're bringing like, you know, when we started back with Ultimate Edition and just sort of going back old school, because you remember what Gears 1 was like with eSports, like it was like there was not really a way to view it and there was no spectator camera and it was really, the, you know, the, the old school of the old school. Yeah. And we've been trying to improve that and improve that and improve that and improve, make it more playable, make it more watchable, make it more, you know, uh, being able to have better camera controls. And I think as you see where we get to with, you know, Gears 5 and then as we go to continue to improve, that's one of the things I love about sort of the games that have this life beyond launch now. It's not all what's in the box, it's about what, where you take it after that too. Yeah. And that's gonna be true for esports and Gears 5 as well. It's like where can we carry it even after launch? Well, as an esports fan, I am so excited to have Gears with E-League. Thank you so much, Rob, for being here and for talking to us today. I'm happy to do it and happy to do it, you know, on your birthday. So that's, <laughs> there's my gift to you. Cause I'll take it. You won't stop talking about your I birthday won't. the entire time I'm here. But no, yeah, so June 14th, <laughs> Uh, well, the first episode, so Hopefully please tune in and, uh, 
and watch TBS because it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be awesome. And I think it's going to bring, if you're new to esports, if yes. you're not as hardcore as, say, Kate. I don't know what you're talking uh, about. Uh, then, but I think it's a great way to get into it because, yeah. like I said, it's about, you know, when you watch the Olympics and you say, like, I don't care about the triathlon. And then, yeah. you, then you see a human story about this triathlete and what they've overcome and what they've done in their lives. And now you're like, I really want them to win. I really understand their story. Yeah. And it's going to be that way, I think, for E-League. It's the fact that you get to understand their stories and, and when their journeys, and then you get to see them play and what that means. I, I think it's going to kind of change the scene. And 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 E League is absolutely one of the top esports entities out there that does that. Rod, I'm so thankful that you were here. And you know what? Let's actually send it back over to Larry.